guys and welcome to Learn Make Go. Today we're going to be exploring our local area and we're going to be meeting some fun new animals. Before we learn Make Go our way outdoors, I'll be meeting Lab Coat Jeff and learning about some British birds. See ya! Hey guys, this is Lab Coat Jeff. We're here in the woods, so he's going to tell you some more and I'm going to go explore. So yeah, hey guys, welcome to the woods. Uh, there's loads of animal and plant species here and they all help each other. So the plants use the birds to distribute their seeds around the woodland to help them grow. The birds then feed on the bugs, of which uh, live in the leaf litter along the ground. And everything helps everything in this forest. Hey guys, let's go and see what's over here. I wonder what's down here. Look what we can find. I've got to be super careful walking over this. Did you see that guys? Look guys, we found a grey squirrel. A grey squirrel's nest is called a dray, where they use moss, dried grass and feathers to keep themselves comfy. This little guy certainly isn't camera shy. Squirrels collect nuts and seeds and hide them in caches all around the forest. They have a great memory and great sense of smell, so they can find their food hideaways even months later. The grey squirrel was introduced to the UK in the late 19th century and has since displaced the local red squirrels across England and Wales. If you look closely, you can even see some rooks in the background. Oh, sorry little guy, that was my last acorn. Let's go and find something else. Ah, oh, guys, I can't seem to find anything more here. I tell you what, now that we've seen a grey squirrel, how about Abby shows you how to make one? Wouldn't that be cool? To learn how to make this cute cardboard squirrel, first we're going to need some toilet tubes. Some glue. Some white foam. Some brown foam. Lots and lots of cotton wool. Some crayons to draw with. I've got black and brown. Some googly eyes. And some pipe cleaners. I've used these black ones, but you could use brown or red. Plus some tissue paper. Don't forget the scissors. First things first, draw out your feet. They can be most shapes, but have a look at what some squirrels look like. Careful with the scissors. I'm going to stick my feet in place using the glue stick. When you stick them down, remember to hold on to it for one, two, three seconds. Now stick the rest down. This one's an arm. See how I've done a different shape? One, two, three again. Last one. Get your tissue paper, unfold it nice and big. Be careful with the scissors and now cut out a big square. This is gonna be your squirrel's head. Get your cotton wool, make it all nice and fluffy by breaking apart and put it in the centre of the paper. Fold up your tissue paper so it makes a nice big screwed up ball of tissue and cotton. Fluffy. That's not quite big enough, let's add some more cotton wool. Twist it round to hold it in place and get one of your pipe cleaners. Wrap it round and twist. You might need an adult's help for this, it's quite difficult. Now to make the face. 
Which colour eye should I use? No. Nope. I quite like this colour. Perfect. Don't need those. Now get your glue and put lots of glue on the back of the eyes and stick them down. Really hard. Don't forget to do the one, two, three count again. One, two, three. Perfect. Now we can see. Let's make him a mouth. Don't forget to put the glue back away. Draw some nice big straight lines and break it all up so we can make him some teeth. Cut it up and you'll see these two tiny little lines. Glue it again. And stick it in place. Those big teeth are perfect for eating lots of nuts. Now, get that pipe cleaner and wrap it round to tidy it all up. Let's make him some ears, otherwise he can't hear. Get the brown crayon, so you can't see it on the brown foam, and draw two triangles. Cut them out. I've drawn a diamond and then cut it in half. This makes it really easy. Measure them up. Perfect fit. Time for more glue. Hold them in place. That's one ear. And that's the other one. Look at his cute little face. Pull the pipe cleaner from the bottom and pull it all the way through. He'll look a bit like a bobble head now. Straighten him up, he might be a bit unstable, so you might need some help. Now, we're going to use that bit of pipe cleaner to attach the rest. Wrap it round, same as before. Keep adding each pipe cleaner until all of them are wrapped together. Oh no, he keeps trying to fall over. Keep going, it's a bit fiddly. Just the last few now. Last one. Oh no, Mr. Squirrel, don't fall over. Now, fold all of your individual parts of your tail outwards in a big wide circle. Each one needs a big bend, and then you can get all of the ends and wrap them round again. You want to make his tail look nice and fluffy, so pull them all apart and leave a big gap in the middle. Make them nice and curved. Now he looks like a real squirrel. There you go. Don't forget to put the glue back away. And the scissors. Wow, look what we found over here. It's a brown rat. The brown rat goes by many names. You could call him a street rat, a sewer rat, a Hanover rat, a Norway rat, a Norwegian rat, or even a wolf rat. But he doesn't look much like a wolf. No, Abby, a wolf rat. They go by the Latin name Ratius Norvegicus, and they live all over the world, from China to the US to India to Australia to your back garden.
They are the second most successful mammal on the planet, obviously second to us humans. The brown rat is normally shown to be a dirty creature in many films and shows, however this little guy is just going about his daily routine foraging around the pond. Wonder what he's got there? Oh, off he goes. Clearly not that interested. Oh, here we have another local by the pond. This is a female duck. Bye bye, Mrs. Duck. All the wildlife live alongside each other in this ecosystem. I wonder what he's eating. They have a varied diet, including grains, seeds and bugs. This little rat seems to be enjoying chewing on some seeds. Wow, he was such a friendly rat. Let's see if we can find some more rooks. Better hold on tight. Unfortunately, I can't fly like the birds around here. Wow guys, look at this rook. The rook's Latin name goes by Chorus Fragilius, and the name was given to them due to their harsh call. Look what's in here. Is that a snail? This little woodlouse came to say hi. He's so cool. Wait, what's that on my back? Oh, what is that? Oh, wow. This stuff is really strange. Bye guys. I hope you enjoyed watching us explore. I'm off home. So now it's time for your adventure to begin, as you learn, make, go.